Hey friends, Sammy here talking to you again about Canva. We had a great response on our last Canva video when we talked about the pros and cons of a Canva website, which by the way, click above if you are interested in that or below, I'll link it there too. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a big downfall I found, something you really need to be aware of when you create a Canva website or else you may not have good luck with your website or else you're gonna run into a lot of issues when people visit your website in a specific way. Let's take a look. So here I'm gonna show you a series of pictures of the mobile version of the website I was working on. I've made websites on Canva before. I find it extremely user-friendly, extremely cheap compared to your other options. I think it's a fantastic option for anyone that needs to just quickly get a website up there, especially if it doesn't, have, doesn't need a lot of capability. For example, my husband has a handyman business and so we created a website for him simply just to show some of his work, put his phone number up there, there and have a site link so that people can check him out online rather than just pointing them to Facebook. So that was a super use, super easy use case. And I'm willing to bet there are tons of small businesses and just like leaders, thought leaders. Maybe you just want to put your website out with some information on there that could benefit from a cheap Canva website. I'm talking like 20 bucks for the year, which is just unheard of. And so this was going to be a photo, actually it is a photo, on the website that I was making for myself because not only do I do Digi, Digi Evangelism, which helps faith leaders and nonprofits with their social media and their websites, helping them share hope, healing, and light online because many of them need a little extra help with that. If you're on this channel, you might be familiar with us. But I also edit videos. I uh, have a company in which I do that. It's called Vidbridge, and I just kind of post random content online, and I thought, hey, I could put all these things in one place so that when social media only gives me one link instead of using a link tree which as we say on our channel would be a good solution for faith leaders and nonprofits who might have a couple of things to link i thought i might want a website that has a place to direct people to both my businesses and just some information about me so that's why i was creating it i thought this would be a great picture i said I can make a little Venn diagram, you know, Digi, Vidbridge, and then the ways they overlap, like social media consulting is something I do within both of these companies, for example. And then maybe put some information about myself. Nothing, nothing extravagant. I was aiming to keep it simple, keep it quick. Maybe you are too. Let's take a look. Well, first, actually, let me show you what it looks like at the end. So in the end of, of it, this isn't exactly what I had envisioned, but it works. You can see the Vidbridge stuff's on this side, Digi stuff's on this side. There's a button to get people to each of those sites. And then I have just some a little information about things that I focus on in my own uh, content, which is not something I post a lot about here. And so I guess this is me being vulnerable. And here we go. I guess follow if you would like to. This is not a promo, but this is to show you what went wrong so i thought it would be easy to do that because honestly when i looked at canva on the website version like the desktop version is what i'm looking at everything looked like this like everything looked good even when i would hit publish and then i would later check the mobile version the problem is canva doesn't adjust super well for mobile there is a button that lets you do that on and off but let's take a look wow <sighs> So I had this Venn diagram, but somehow it like went over my face. It was just very cluttered. And then this stuff down here, when I, like I said, when I put it on, when I was working with it on Canva, it all looked like this. Desktop version looked exactly like this, but then I screenshot here my mobile version of the site and it's all, the text is all smushed up. This green blob is here, whereas on this version, it was just like a nice gradient background. Now I have this blob the Venn diagrams on my face, it was a lot. And so I went back into editing. And then the next iteration here, uh, okay, we've got it above my face and I got the text to get in line, but here's the problem. It is so small. Like this is zoomed in and it still looks small. Zoomed in and still looks small. So I don't really want a site that when people go on it on mobile, which by the way, most people will probably find you on mobile, on social media, or someone texts it to them, or even they check their email on mobile. They're going to get to your site and they're going to have to zoom in, like like literally zoom into the screen to see your content. It's not going to happen. Don't make it harder for people than it needs to be. And while I'm not trying to get like a lot of clicks for anything. I am trying to make it convenient for folks to find out how they can connect with me. So back to the drawing board, I need to get this blob 
gone. I need this bigger. I need this bigger. And honestly, I still can't, you know, see this very well. Um, and so I went back to editing. And let me remind you, meanwhile, on the Canva desktop view, everything looks like good. But then when I make it live, I publish it, it it's, you know, it's either too big and weird or it's too small and weird. So you kind of have to troubleshoot, which I do find to be a negative. I let it do its website mobile thing and adjust naturally. And this is what happens. Now, my spouse's site does use a template, which I think might solve your issue here if you're having trouble where where your text is just like going over your face or it's just like you look at it and it's like this on the desktop version and then on the mobile version it's just in a straight line a weird line um but that's not what i wanted so a template might help you out with that personally i was trying to troubleshoot this by dropping like shapes (laughs) in the background um behind this text and making them transparent to see if that would like bump the words off my face to see if I like that, which landed in this. Like, why is Digi a quarter or less of the size of my Vidbridge stuff? It did not look like this on my desktop. I can't explain it. So this is a downfall, I find. I love Canva for websites. I'm going to still use it. The site still looks like this right now until I change it up, until I decide I want to do something more with it, which probably won't be for a while. It works. It's cheap, functional. But let me tell you, you need to check your mobile version, okay? Because you might see it on your desktop when you're working on your Canva site like this, but then when you open up mobile, you're getting like some kind of mishmash. Can you imagine if I just left this? Like I could have, I guess, but this isn't what I wanted. And, And so this is still not like exactly what I came in in the beginning of the day to do. And it did not want to be as functional as I thought it could be. But at the end of the day, this works for me. And it's still cheap. It I can click buttons and get people to my site. And that's enough. So the moral of the story is check your mobile version when you're making a Canva website. Yes, I think they are still worth it. But if this is going to drive you like off the wall, don't even bother. And maybe like use an actual website setup. This is more like I think a cheap option. If you're just getting started, you just need the bare minimum. It's absolutely amazing for that. But everything else, this might be more headache than it's worth. And that's my rant. What other questions do you have about Canva? Don't forget, you can still get access to our digital ministry training hub where we already have trainings on Canva in that hub. I'll drop the waitlist link below for a special discount offer. If you need walkthroughs for social media help, TikTok, Instagram reels, you name it, website help, any kind of digital communications help for your nonprofit or ministry, you're going to want to take advantage of this deal. Let us know what you think. Today we brought the knowledge. Your turn. Put it into action.